Hello guys, this is Bassmaster1000 and I'm going to show you how to spool a closed face fishing line. <clears throat> okay, that was my lizard. Okay, the first thing you gotta do, which I did so you wouldn't have to watch, was... Uh, okay. So I put the line through this and I put it through this and then I tied a knot. So we're getting pretty simple. So now what you do is you hold the the line down so you can tie it over like that. By the way, this is like my first time I've ever spooled a fishing line, so yeah, it's pretty hard for me. So now it's probably good enough for, and just so you know, I'm not going to do this the whole time. I'm just going to get it really good. So now that it's good enough, we can put this over this. Put the vase. And now what you gotta do is you gotta make sure it's like straight. So you just start really well. Crap. Hold on. This is little technical difficulties here. So gotta throw off this freaking string away because I did that. I made a bunch of these bad videos about having to do this and I messed up a lot. A lot. I mean, if I didn't like do all this, like uncut, it would have taken me like an hour to do it. It took me forever because I, I'm the first time I ever spoiled the line was with my dad. Thanks, daddy. Okay, so I gotta do it. Start just reeling it in. This is really hard. Oh, hurry up. It's a big fish. I'm really get really big fish in. <laughs> oh, you gotta see this. This is really bad. Ah! Look. This is how you reel your line in like a pro. Getting a big fish. I gotta ruin my lining. That's how you do it. 
do the second floor, baby. Okay, it's gotta be good now. Ah, open! That was pretty fun, actually. Oh, yeah. That's great. Crap, got stuck. Crap, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Darn it. Okay, now it's being mean to me. Got it. Whew. Close enough. That was a really bad call right there. I shouldn't have been a little cocky. Okay. Yeah. Now what you gotta do is you gotta put it back in the thing where it's supposed to belong. So you just snap it back on. Push it down over it. And then for the finale, you get this. You get all this stuff. It's raining really hard. Like, oh, yeah, that's the only problem. You got to have it really down low. So now what you got to do is you got to take a knife or scissors. I mean, the first time I did that. Where's my knife? Okay, there to go. Okay, so you got to cut the line like a pro. So now what I'm going to do is, it's all like this, Crap. this, right here, got to tie this. I mean the open base fishing poles, like, um, they only have a certain test line you can put it to. I mean, these do, I mean, you could, they, they work perfectly fine with, like, you could have a 50 pound test line. It's just, when you reel it in, like, the line gets so thick, like, when you're reeling it in the thing, like, goes around the spinner whatever it's called it like gets really jammed and now I gotta cut this perfect wait a minute crap did I do that wrong That's a close one. I barely got it. So it's like that. There you go. <sighs> there you got it, baby. That's. Yeah, these are the cheap rods. Oh, no, no, no. They have one. Now you just gotta stick. <sighs> like. I'm just gonna put it on one of these. And since it's been on a, a a roller for so long, gotta open it. You gotta have like make it really straight. Have it. How to spoil a fishing rod. Pro style. Big Bass Master out.